So this is a viewer requested video. He wanted some arc shots on uh, how to weld aluminum. So let's get into it. So this first one here is just a little bit too cold. You can see the arcs kind of wandering a little and uh, sounds kind of raspy. I'll let you listen. And that raspy uh, sound is an indication that either you're just a little on the cold side and um, the arcs wanting to wander or that you have too long of an arc. This next one is cold. You see, I uh, just add the filler before the puddle is ready, so it's just drooping, and it's just pretty much sitting on top of the part. It's not soaking in. And if you see it falling up like that, that's an indication that you're way too cold. So this next one is too long of an arc. You can hear it having trouble starting right there. And when you have a long arc, it's really noisy, or really loud and uh, raspy. You always want to listen for that. So on this one, I have a long arc, and I'm going to bring it in and let you listen to that difference. Right there, I brought it in, and you can hear the difference. Uh, you can see my tungsten balling and kind of rolling. It's got too much uh, cleaning action on it, so I changed that after this. But right there, it left a crater hole, and I didn't like it, so I came back in and uh, just bumped it real quick, and I did a drop of filler. Now this one is too hot and too slow a travel speed. So you can see I get a really wide puddle, and when I'm adding filler, it's not crowning up at all. It's just staying sunken, and that's an indication that you're too hot. So right here, I'm not adding enough filler. You see, it's not crowning up at all as I'm adding it in, but it's the right anchorage. And right here, I'm adding too much filler, and it's crowning up too much. Now this is an extreme porch angle, and usually with this, when you try to add filler, it's just going to ball it up and make it droop, and also you're not getting good gas coverage, but it actually didn't turn out half bad for some reason. Now this is a backwards porch angle, and usually when you weld like this, it'll uh, gray up the weld, you'll see it when you're done. Now this is a technique that I use a lot, I really like it. It's uh, manual pulsing, just with the foot pedal. I move, hit it with the foot pedal, and the uh, filler all at once. Now right here is just how I like it. As I'm dipping, it's crowning up, and as I start moving, it starts sinking. That's what I like to see. And right here I'm going to do a restart. Now normally what I do is I get the puddle going and I'll move back uh, two ripples. But here I did it a little quick. I don't know why. And then just continue on how you were going before. Now this first one, the top one, is the first one I did that was too cold. You could hear it. And the one below it is the one where I had the long arc and then moved it closer. And then right here you can see this is that too hot with a slow travel speed. See how gray it looks? And then right here is another one where it was um, too hot and it made the graying right there. 
And right there is my tie, and you can see the restart, how it just grays out just a little bit. So I'll end on some pictures from work while I talk. So I had a lot more arc shots, but a ton of them were, weren't clear. Basically, the key to welding aluminum is reading your puddle. You got to know what it means or when it needs more filler and uh, when it's too hot or when it's too cold, when it's not getting good gas coverage, and that all comes from hood time. So if you have any questions, let me know. And if I left anything out, ask me about it. I'm happy to answer. Like the video if this helped. Uh, subscribe if you aren't. And leave all the comments that you think will help or that you need answered.